Hello, 7th graders. Beginning Chapter 7. We're actually not in the book. We're on Lesson 7, 0 0.1. So this is finding perimeter and area of parallelograms and triangles. So you won't really find this in your book in a certain lesson. This is pre-Chapter 7, but it deals right within Chapter 7. So stick with me, will you? So area and perimeter. Perimeter is the distance around a figure. It is found by adding all the sides together. Again, these two terms would be very much review, but definitely still in your vocab. Area is the space inside a figure. This is measured in square units. So it's how many, if you put it on like a grid, how many square units are covered um, with that. We'll do a little activity with that. So this shape is a parallelogram. It's called a parallelogram because it has, whoopsie, has two sets of parallel sides. These sides are parallel to one another, and these sides are pal parallel to one another. So it's called a parallelogram. A parallelogram's area is found by doing the base times the height. Okay? Um, the base of the figure is that the one that lays flat. Okay? And the height is from the top vertice to the bottom base, so from the corner down, okay? So, do an example. So to find the perimeter and area here is we would do, to find the perimeter of this figure, we would add all the sides together. So if this side's five, they're also congruent, so then this side's also five. This side's three, this side's also going to be three. So our perimeter then is found by adding them together. So we do five plus three plus five plus three. The distance around for a total, so we could do, you know, that's 10, and that's 6, so a total of 16 inches around. Our area, then, is going to be, area is base and height. So I write my formula first, then I do area is my base, which is 5 inches, times my height, which is here, at 2 inches. The three is not the height. The three is the side length. Okay, the height, remember, is the top is the top to the bottom. So that means then my units are going to be two times five is ten. But this was actually inches times inches, which makes our answer inches squared. Or you could write it as ten square inches as well. How about you give this one a try? You could pause and then um, come back to see what the answers are. See if you can do it right. Um, one option is always to label this is the base, this is the height, and this is the side length. So for the area, area is base times height. So the base is 15, the height is 8. Okay? So 15 times 8, you do 10 times 8, which is 80, um, 8 times 5, which is 40, add those together for 120. And again, area is in square units. Perimeter, your sides are 10, 15, and 10. So you do 10 plus 15 plus 10 plus 15 for a grand total perimeter of 50 meters. triangle now. A triangle is half the base times the height. You can see this because if you put two triangles together, say I were to put a triangle at the edge of this, I actually am just creating a parallelogram. That's why it's half the base times height, because it's half of the size of a parallelogram. Our base is the bottom. Height again is the top vertice to the base. So the perimeter, let's give that a try, distance around. So we do our seven plus four and a half plus five. So then we get 16 and a half feet. The area, show our work, area of a triangle is one half base times height. So we do one half the base, which is seven, remember you might want to label, and these are just sides, so don't worry about those. And our height, in this case, is 3. The biggest challenge is showing your work, writing the equations, and knowing which parts to grab. So then this is going to be, well, that's, whoops, did the math wrong. This 
says half of 7, which is 3 and a half times 3. Well, 3 times 3 is 9. Half of 3 is 1 and a half. So this is going to be 10 and a half square feet. Hope I didn't make a mistake there. Covered there. So you can give this one a try again. Pause if you need to. Uh, we're just going to find the area on this one. We don't know the side length right now. And it doesn't indicate that it is um, equivalent to 14. So we're not going to mess with that right now. But we are going to do area equals one half base times height. So the area is one half the base times height. I might need to zoom out. This is too. I can't see it on the screen. So my base is 20 inches. My height. Is 14. Remember, this is a side length. So base of 20 times the height of 12, then you get, well, half of 20 is 10 times 12, which is 120. And remember to label in square units because that's inches times inches. Pretty quick one this evening. Um, you can't really, you can rewatch this video. You could um, do personal tutor. Um, through like Khan Academy instead. So these two aren't necessarily an option right now unless you go through the index, but do rewatch the video, check out someone else's, or go ahead and pop on um, the Khan Academy website. Best of luck.